Hi, I'm Ken Lee from Minerva Corp. We're talking about uh, fundamentals of a great pitch today. So we're on to management team. So this part is absolutely critical that uh, you can show that you've got a strong management team. Um, everything before this slide outlines the, uh, the, uh, the opportunity, you know, the size of the opportunity, how much money uh, that you can make and that you can sell it. But it kind of lands on here that, okay, that's all good. I, I buy into it, but can you deliver? This is where this slide uh, uh, talks about that, okay? So in here, you want to talk about your management, uh, your management team, who are the key players. Uh, you don't need to get everyone, you know, the whole organization in there. You want to focus on the ones that have, at this stage, the ones that have a key role to play in the success of the company at this stage. And uh, you also want to talk, if it's relevant, uh, talk about the board of directors. Usually that, uh, that adds to the management capabilities, people that you bring in uh, who have various uh, experience and from various uh, industries that can uh, help guide the management of the company. If, if you're set up for that, then you want to talk about that. If you're not set up for that, or even if you are and you also have an advisory board, you want to talk about who's on, who are a group of uh, knowledgeable people that are committed to helping your company succeed. They don't have to be you know, paid on staff, and, and a lot of times they aren't, uh, but they see an opportunity or they want to help or they, uh, they, uh, it, just, it just stokes them the right way to be involved. Uh, talk about who's on your advisory board. If you don't have one, make sure you, you do get one. That's uh, a, good, a good thing. Again, we're getting into risk minimization, right? So if I'm an investor, you're a new company, how do I know that you're, you're going to survive? So all of these things, who you have on staff and who are the outside uh, uh, resources that you can bring in that can help guide the company. All a good story. So on that, on that matter, no subject matter advisors. There's different advisors that you can get, people who are just general business, who know business. They're good to have. And then there are subject matter advisors, which are, uh, if you're in concrete, as an example, you know, an expert in concrete. No, for, for that for that matter, um, you, you know different different types of advisors. Major investors uh, may not be apparent initially as part of a management team, but for smart investors, they invest in company and in people, and uh, they can bring strategic alliances with uh, with them. You know they may have uh, uh, an insight on some marketing channel, or they're part of a, a group and if they've invested, or if they're an institutional investor, uh, they may be part of, you know, get involved in the management, especially in the early stage. Don't have all the management team uh, quite there yet. This is where a good uh, uh, gap can be filled by tapping into the major investors. Or when you go seek investors, make sure that they can bring something to the table as well. You don't always have to play to the first one who's gonna give you money. You have to think strategically, okay, can, how can he help my business, right? So some tips on this. Um, you want to talk about uh, people in the team. Uh, in the early stage, uh, different uh, team members may play different roles, right? So he may be marketing, but he may also do something else, right? Business development. Um, a lot of traps that I see is uh, early companies that start up and they try to, they put a VP title on everyone, right? They're just a small company, they just start it and they kind of put them in uh, very siloed uh, positions where you know, maybe they don't have the runway to do that. So you want to hire people that can multitask at this early stage. So if you're talking to investors and you say, okay, I'm going to pitch, you don't have to be uh, worried or afraid that your marketing team is, or I'm sorry, your management team is not perfect. There may be gaps in it, and that is expected. As long as you can fill that with uh, the right people with, with enough skills that can uh, show that you're credible, right? The, some of the gaps can come later. Uh, big ones would be like in marketing, right? Uh, depending on what's, what stage of dev development you're in, you can bring a marketing guy in after you've raised some money. But you definitely need to have a good CEO and support people around you initially. Uh, so. A lot of people uh, with their management team, they think that it's a weakness to, to admit that, you know, we don't have all, you know, we don't have everyone or the people we have in there is maybe not the, uh, 
the prime person that uh, would be there long term. And it's okay to admit that it's uh, it's seen as a uh, as a, that you have credibility when you realize what your weaknesses are, just like anything, I think. Um, because the worst thing you can do is go in with the management team and hey, this is this is the one, but they're really not. But you want to show that you're strong, right? Or you have that misconception that you need to show you're strong. It's okay to it's okay to admit where your weaknesses are because that means that you know you know your stuff, right? You know you know where you stand. That's a very important thing. Know where you stand, and uh, that goes with the management team as well. <laughs>